Hello. Uh, we had many requests uh, about our Grow 360 unit uh, to show all the details, even though everything is explained in our website uh, all to the last point, but uh, here it is. Uh, at the moment, we have 15 different species of herbs growing in our system. There is a total of 2,160 plants. Um, there is, for example, uh, rucola, basils, parsley, coriander, Chinese spinach, regular spinach. Um, this is Italian parsley, red basil. We have uh, garden parsley in the back. Here we have basils. So these are uh, 14 days from the seeding date. So as you can see, they're all growing nicely. And uh, the Grow360 unit, which you see here, it's a modular system. Uh, it means that uh, everything is within itself. It's a plug and play, so uh, you just feed the software uh, what you want to grow and the system knows automatically what to do from the day one until the harvesting. Uh, Gross 360 is a fully automated system. Uh, it has over 30 different sensors and actuators throughout the system. And uh, as I said earlier, it holds 2,160 plants. And uh, the total electricity usage when it's at 100%, meaning that all the lights are on, the motor rotation is on, and uh, uh, feeding pumps, everything, when it's on, it's at 3.1 kilowatt per hour. This is due to uh, having only 17 lights uh for the system uh the same amount of plants in any other system would require minimum 225 lights for 2160 plants and the footprint of this uh, unit is only uh nine square meter so it's one and a half meter wide by six meters long by two and a half meter tall this is a true vertical hydroponic, meaning uh, as high as your ceiling is, you could add systems on top of this. And uh, instead of horizontally layered on top of each other, these are true vertical system. Some of the things that the sensor does for example it's uh, it uh, makes sure that uh, the humidity is always at the uh, precise humidity uh, the, the temperature surrounding the the plants itself and the temperature inside the roots and uh, co2 o2 o3 uh, everything is controlled automatically uh, the system itself produces only about 48% uh, humidity. I, I put a temporary gauge here, you can see. Right now it's 41% and temperature 27 Celsius. Uh, I show you uh, some of the things that I can show manually and we go over it uh, together. For example, if the humidity level comes down, the system automatically uh, starts putting mist. And as you can see here on top, the mist is coming through. And you can see slowly the, temp the humidity level goes up, but this is just the outside humidity the system knows better throughout the roots and surrounding. Then let's say if the ambient temperature goes up, 
Uh, then we introduce air at the same time from the bottom with the mist running. And you can see the air, well, you can really see it, but the air comes on. And combination of mist and air, you see this turbulence that creates this uh, cooling effect together. And as you can see, immediately the temperature drops. Then, if the root temperature, for example, goes up, then we have another line of air that goes through the lower level of the unit and feeds uh, air through the inside the heat cylinder. You cannot really hear it, but I bring the camera closer so you can see here maybe. So the air goes up inside this cylinder all the way and cools down the inner temperature of the roots. Then when the system sees the CO2 level, it's uh, coming down. Again, through the top nozzles, automatically the CO2 level, I mean, the CO2 tank opens up and uh, pushes the CO2 through the line. First, it empties all the excess water or nutrition you have in those lines. And as you know, CO2 is heavier than uh, O2, oxygen. So it comes uh, lower down and then we could also, the system automatically opens the air at the same time and uh, create that turbulence again. And because of the rotation, every plant gets the same amount of uh, CO2. So these were a few of the examples I was showing you. Uh, by doing the modular system and feeding every single root directly, uh, it means we have absolutely zero waste. We have no water waste coming out. And um, if you, for example, uh, see the difference between our systems and other systems, is that the uh, majority of the systems in the market right now, they work with a gravi gravity feed or NFT or drip or uh, so many different names nowadays. But uh, what's the difference there is that the, the gutter system, for example, is that the, the first plants, they get the majority of the nutrition and the last plant, they get the least. And in case of any diseases, you would lose your entire production because the same water is going throughout your entire, entire production area and that will affect every single plant that you have. The other main difference is that we can grow any types of fruits, vegetables, flowers, uh, herbs, up to 30 centimeter diameter when it's fully grown with this system. Versus others, they cannot do such a thing. They do one uh, one plant per production and being modular that means we could grow for example strawberries in this system and right next to it grow uh, lettuce and uh, the other uh, big difference is that the excess humidity as I told you we don't produce humidity we introduce humidity so that means a lot of saving on the water 
electricity to remove the excess humidity and uh, uh, perfect control of the plant growing. One other thing about the, the, the feeding in a gutter system or in drip system is that, yes, the plants, they grow, but they don't have the taste that when you give specific amount of nutrition to every plant. Uh, it's just same as human being that uh, if you keep eating, you get, you get bigger, but you're gonna become obese. But if you eat correctly and healthy, you stay healthy and you look good. So here I have demonstrated with this system to feed the upper plants lower amount of nutrition and as you go lower we give higher dosage and more water so you could see perfectly the difference and the other uh, difference between us was the the amount of lights which i told you um, if for example, we have any sorts of disease, we could remove one basket or one cylinder or the entire unit out of production area, but your other units are still producing. Then uh, we come to the benefit part of it this system is that uh, we have easy access to the system for uh, transplant maintaining and harvesting and all our system are ready for the upcoming robotics as you can see for example here we have these uh, baskets that they have a lip ready for a robot to to uh, transplant the plant or maintain it or uh, harvest it. Uh, we have equal amount of lights for every plant, as I explained earlier, equal amount of CO2, O2, humidity. Uh, for purpose of pollination, let's say strawberries or uh, flowers, uh, the way this cylinders they rotate they rotate against each other so once the plant are growing the flowers they rub each other they self-pollinate and we also help it with our air mist uh, air uh, system that i told you uh, it uh, it creates the turbulence and lifts the pollens from the flowers and uh, circulates it during uh, throughout the system. So here are the, the main differences with us and the benefits. Also, the potential to, to be able to add systems on top of each other uh, so it doesn't give you any limitation for uh, how much you want to grow. Uh, grow 360 unit will be showcased in um, Expo 2020, which is now Expo 2021 in Dubai. Evergreen is a partner of Finnish Pavilion. Uh, we urge you to come and see us there. Uh, it will start next year, October 1st. And we hope to see you there. I hope you have uh, enjoyed and got more details about our system. And I appreciate any comments, critics or suggestions. Uh, below in the com uh, comment area and uh, if you have 
or if you need any extra information, please visit our website at www.evergreenfarm.fi. Stay safe and thank you for being with us.